Hello and welcome to this week of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, we're going to do the Tuesday through Sunday, March 24th through March 29th. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 2.53pm this happy Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. Now for today's news. Ardozia gained a new neighbor today, Silvana. I'm sure she will be very happy unpacking today, so consider checking in on her. That's all for me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Zardozia living. Ooh, we got mail. Oh, can't even aim at this. Look, I dug up a fossil. Just check your mail, dude. Ooh, our posters of recent Caesar came. We wish to express our gratitude for the continuing use of the Nook Shop and Nook Mileage Program. The items you claim are redemption services attached to this message. Thank you. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Well, we got a package for Reese's poster. We got a package for Cesar's poster. And we got a package for... Customizable phone case that we bought. I couldn't figure out how to use it at this moment. Yes, you should craft something. Let's craft. So I went through the inventory and said, Ugh, there's no phone thing here. I don't know what to do. I couldn't find the phone customization thing. And I don't think you can customize. I don't think you could, though. Did it give me that option? I think you can customize on the mini. I mean, on the simple one. But I couldn't figure out how to customize my phone case at this moment until I got the mini do-it-yourself workbench. So we left. Then we went to see Silvana because she just moved. Look who's here checking in on me before I've even finished unpacking. As of today, I can start saying that I'm from Dordosia too. So hello, new neighbor. Ugh, nothing to do with neighbors on the first day. Hey, Paul. Hi there, Paul. I was going for a walk because I was all bumpacked and I figured out, hey, I got a feet. I ought to do stuff with them. Besides, I hoped I'd see you if I walked around outside long enough, and I did. Thanks, feet. So, um, I brought a present for you today. This makes us officially licensed friends now. A shell lamp. I made it back on my last island. It's the best one I've ever made. No sharp edges, no bad smells, and weighs what it's supposed to. Can't wait to have lots of nap time around here. Maybe the whole island could nap all at once together. I'd be like nighttime, but at some other weirder time, like um man. Any time is weird for that idea, huh? What a dumb person. Alright, then I went in here and I looked at a clothes closet and it looked so fabulous that I decided to buy it. 3,100 bells please, said Tommy. And I said sure. Let's see what's inside of here. I think I bought some do-it-yourself kits. We already have this, the beginner's one because we bought that back when they were in the tent but we bought I believe the test yourself test your do yourself skills and the wildest dreams do yourself skills there was nothing else that I needed everything else I already had the recipe for so it's a digital recipe book and it's they send it through their phone to your phone I'm 
not talking for them. You can read, guys. And if you can't, you shouldn't be watching my channel because you're too little. And we're done. I hope you enjoy doing it yourself even more now with the new recipes. New recipes. Anything else look interesting? Yeah, the wildest dreams do it yourself. Wildest dreams do it yourself is a digital recipe book. Let's see, that's 6,980 bells. What do you think? Excellent purchase. Purchase. Okay, time to send the recipes for Wildest Dreams Do It Yourself to your phone. And we're done. I hope you enjoy Do It Yourself even more now with your new recipes. New recipes. Anything else look interesting? No. Get me out of this. All the wallpaper here is dumb. I don't like it. And I won't buy it. Get me out of this closet drawer. What is it? Thank you, thank you. And we earn Nook Miles for spinning our bells. Thank you, thank you. Then we went into our house and crafted a mini do-it-yourself workbench because that was in one of the things I bought. I made a mini DIY workbench. And then I replaced it with a log. I don't know if today I did this or eventually, but eventually I just kept... Well, I think I put the log one outside and then I made another log one and I kept it in my pocket so that if I needed to craft things somewhere far away from my house that I could just put it down and do it and then I realized you could customize on this one so I customized my phone case if you use a custom design your Nook phone will keep its appearance even if the design is changed later so I did a do-it-yourself one I mean, a uh, custom design one, but it was a design that was already there in my pocket. It wasn't something I made. None of them, I mean, those things look cool on my phone, but that big circle with a leaf on it was dumb. So the only one that looked cool was the rainbow musical one. So I picked that. Later on, I imported a Henox picture that I put, but I never put it on my phone case. <laughs> I was meant to do it because the Kinox has a little round eye and so I thought that would be perfect to put inside of the little leaf but then I never did it to this day I haven't done it I customize a customizable phone case kit I'm done get out your house And then I found out how to make the circle thing on. Oh, there's star fragments in this game, just like Breath of the Wild. I found out how to make that circle thing in Premiere, so I can actually use that as a transition when I come out of places. And it looks pretty cool. Ah, oh, Paul. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. I can't think of any more advice to give you, Paul. You've accomplished so much, I am sure you can find your own way at, or having fun and living your life. What should I like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. I'm good. So, if you talk to him after you do all this stuff, I think that, and he says you have nothing else left to do, I think that um, activates... The upgrade of the resident services tent. So I looked in here to see if there's anything new. Everything stays the same pretty much. Until you get that service tent. I mean we got the country fence and the vertical board fence. Because he taught us how to make fences. But I don't think I recorded that. <laughs> there's lots of stuff that happens that I don't record.
for example, I didn't record, the, this wasn't this day, but there was another video I watched from someone. Now I'm going to put up my posters of Reese and Caesar. I watched a video of someone who told you how to spawn infinite spider tarantulas on an island. Like one of the Nook Ticket Mile islands. So what you have to do is you have to bring the minimum amount of stuff so you can get the maximum amount of spiders. But you need um, obviously the pole vault and the fishing net because I'm mean the the bug catching net and the ladder and you need a shovel some fruit and the axe you need to chop down all the trees get all of the fruit off the island um break all the rocks by eating fruit and pick all the flowers and put them down in a small corner at the edge of the of the, the little island and then pick all the flower petals off. Oh, I got a good fish here. Let me show you. An ore fish. Oh my god, it's so big. It looks like a dragon. Yes! I caught an ore fish. I hope I catch more fish. So then you have to pick the flowers or else um, butterflies will come. And anyway, you have to go around to the island too and scare all the fish away and stuff like that. And then... The tarantula will come a lot. And I've got like $160,000 on one night because I did that. That's pretty cool. It does take a long time to do, but it was worth it. Hey, I feel like I've seen you a lot today. Am I seeing you a lot or do I just feel that way? Somebody new moved here today. I went to go see them, but they were cleaning house. Anywho, I gotta give it a shot. Sometime I love trying new food and stuff from other cultures. It's a me. It doesn't make any sense. All right, now it's Wednesday, March 25th. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 4:49 p.m. This happy Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. Now for today's news. Lardosia gained a new neighbor today, Patty. I hope you gave her lots of great advice about her living here. And there is Mabel. You can see. Now then, I have one more bit of important news to wrap things up, and so one, it's so wonderful to see all the enthusiasm from island life. Our population is certainly growing, hmm? Zardazia is becoming a rather bustling place, yes, yes. Our goal, as always, is to provide you with all the top quality service you deserve, and so please note, resident services will soon relocate from its current tent into a new, more permanent building. It's a big move, and construction will take some time, so we will be closed tomorrow. Please check on lost items in the recycle box. Or use the Nook Stop today while it's available. Yes, yes. And that's all for me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Sardazia living. So it did, in fact, spawn that. Oh, we got a Dodo airline shirt. It's thanking us for using their airlines a lot and gave us a a new shirt that's of the of the doll Dodo Airlines company. And then we got a letter for Gulliver, because we found Gulliver again. And he gave us a Nutcracker, I think. I put that up there so I could read it, but I don't care about that. Alright, let's see what we got. A dot, D-A-L-T. And a Nutcracker. a while back. I knew you looked familiar. No worries if you forgot, but my name is Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. We go way back. Anyway, that's how I heard of Zardazia, and I came out here to sell clothes and stuff. My dream is to open up my shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up a customer base first. I'll try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you get see me around, don't be a stranger, right? 
Oh, hey, since you're like right here, you want to see the stuff I'm selling today? I'd love to. Look. Great. Let me just open up today's catalog for you. So we got a bunch of clothes and accessories. And I don't remember what I bought. I think I bought shoes and that's it. Maybe glasses. I think I bought shoes and glasses. It's 1920 bells. You got it. Thanks. Do you want to look at anything else? It's 880 bells for some oval glasses. You interested? You got it. I think that's all I bought. What do you think? I'm gonna bring different stuff each time I visit, so be sure to stop by. In the days I'm here, I'll be selling first thing in the morning until about 10 at night, if you wanna stop by. She looks like she's sleeping. Yo, Precious, what's the word? What's the latest? Stay in over yet, Precious, no matter what the sun says. It doesn't look like it's dark. Yeah? What's up, Precious? This is for you. So I found out you can give gifts to villagers you've talked to before a lot, I guess. So I gave her my nutcracker from Gulliver. That? Whoa, really? A nutcracker? Seriously, Paul, you know exactly what to get me. I'm gonna need to clean up a little bit before I show it off. It's a look so, so rad, Precious. Okay, this might seem weird or whatever, but here's 1560 bells. Life's all about give and take, and I hate being all take, Precious. So she paid us for it. I don't know if that's because it was a rare thing that Gulliver gives you. Yo, what's up, Rerac? This is for you. Oh, what do you got, Rerac? Ooh, I couldn't figure out what to give him, so I think I gave him a dace. Oh, that's a, is that a dice? Thanks, I'll take good care of it. Having it around might help me with my dolphin crack kick or crack. All right, let's visit Patty. Our new villager of the day. I took your advice and I bailed on everything and everyone. I knew. I moved here. I live here now. Walking distance from your house. You, the only person I know here. We are gonna talk so much. Yeah, they're boring to talk to on the first day because they just tell you, oh, I'm talking. So I didn't see you, how about? Let's talk. They say you shouldn't start your day without a plan. Hey, also say plans are a fool's errand, so. And then we talk to the alligator. Hey, sorry about the mess, but I ain't got time to clean today. I always forget what the Alfonso's supposed to sound like. I'm making me a garden rock. One of the bugs in the floor whispered to do it yourself instructions on my ear while I was asleep last night. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. Check it out, plans for a garden rock. I can teach you if you want. Leave it to me. I got it all scribbled down here, right here, so just read about this. If I can make it, then I bet you could do it in no time. It's a me. Huh? Okay. Sweet. I learned a do-it-yourself recipe for a garden rock. Ooh, a letter in the bottle. I dreamed I was an ultra super big time master of do-it-yourself. Here's the recipe I made in my dream. I almost ate it because I was sleepy and hungry, but I'm glad I didn't share the recipe with everyone. A bone door plate. Huh? Okay. Sweet! I learned a do-it-yourself recipe for a bone door plate. I didn't realize what a bone, don't, bone door plate was, so I looked and it's just like a mat that... Or a plate that you put on a door. Alright, so now it's Thursday. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 6.41pm this happy Thursday, March 26, 2020. 
As I mentioned yesterday, our resident service is closed today due to construction. I realize this might be a bit of an inconvenience, but I promise your island will be better for it. You'll see. As you can imagine, I'll have my paws full today for the resident services construction. I'll be getting back to that now. Have a good day, everyone. So this day I only recorded for like three and a half minutes because there's nothing to do with the resident services closed. So Patty sent us a letter. I hear you, your piece is in the room, Paul. You should let me come over. Oh yeah, I upgraded my house off camera. So I have a new room in the back. Congratulations. Celebrate new addition to your house. You gave me new furniture. Woo! Alright, let's see what we got. A present. This is from a microwave. That's from the Happy Home Designer, I think. And a coffee grinder is from Patty. Alright, Fuchsia, what's up? Yo, Paul, have you ever had a hard time putting your foot down about something? If someone wasn't listening to you, you're saying you gotta have the right reactions ready, like this. No, nah, -uh, nothing doing. And just like that, you've hit him with a disagreement. You gotta stand your ground sometimes, Precious. So I learned a new reaction. So I don't know if I've showed you reactions you can do, but you press ZL. One of the builders teaches you them. Alright, now it's Friday, March 27th. Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 3.25 p.m. this happy Friday, March 27th, 2020. Now then, I'm sure you can all guess what I'm going to tell you the next. It's today's big announcement. As stated in a previous broadcast, today we've completed construction on the Resident Services building. That's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to your island staff. Come on over. Hello, I'm Isabel. As Mr. Tom Nook said, I'm part of the resident services staff here on Zardazia. While I still have much to learn, I will do my best to support everyone who calls this island home. Isabel has previously done resident support work, so I'm sure she'll be a big help to everyone here, hmm? I got more to share. The building isn't the only new thing around here. We gave the plaza some much needed improvement as well. Normally the plots for the residents and visiting peddlers who take advice, advantage of its prime location. But keep an eye out for an occasional seasonal event too. Should be much, such fun for everyone, yes, yes. Well, I believe that wraps up all the announcements for today. Except for one final thing. This was my very last broadcast. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be the, your new source for Island News. I'll do my best to share all the latest updates with you, so I hope you'll tune in often. Yes, yes, there you have it. New building, new island, new staff. We are growing, growing, growing. Find out what's new at Resident Services. It's as easy as stopping by and inquiring, hmm? Of course, we plan on holding a ceremony to commemorate the new ser Resident Services building. We'd love for everyone to take part. I believe that sums it all up. Isabel and I will be here to help you whenever you need us. So today was kind of long because the Resident Services is open, obviously. To celebrate the opening of the new resident service building, we have lots of new Miles Redemptions items available. Plus, we now have a new service for Nook Miles Plus members to earn five times more miles. Commemorative gift is attached. And what is that gift? Let's look in our pockets. It's a Nook Miles ticket. Ugh, we already bought one. Hey, Paul. Paul, hey, how now? I'm going around Zardazia saying hi to everyone. I have to get my brand out there. You know, let the popular know a future pop star when they see one. Hold up, I just remembered I called out to you because I have something to give you. So, here you go. The garden lantern is something I bought from my last island. It seemed like you kind of things, so I... I... Yes. I'm so... I'm like so happy you got someone like you around to do stuff for me. I can't read sometimes and I don't want to stop and go back and record. I'm just going to record all the way through. I already edited this together. Oh, Paul, hello, hello. Welcome to the new and improved resident services tent. Oh, did I say tent? Oh, of course I meant building and we couldn't have built it with, without your help. Now, as I mentioned in my broadcast, we need new support staff for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. 
You're Paul, right? Mr. Nook has told me about you. I just started today, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs of the new job. But I'm already smitten with the island life, so you can count on me to give me my best... And here, there you have it. Is it and there you have it. Isabel's our new split duties. Broadly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help you with general island matters and resident support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help, and we'll rush over in two swishes of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now so we can introduce you to some new services. Now with that out of the way, I have something I'd like to help you with. When you have a moment, sit down at my counter. I hope I can count on your continued support of Zardazia and I want our new resident services. Well, hello there, Paul. Your home now has another room, where once there was none, yes? You can use it whenever you like. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel. That'll be 348,000 bells. Ah, yes. Please make your payment using the Nookstop ABD feature. As always, it's been so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes, this is the construction consultation. Before we begin, allow me to quickly explain. In addition to your noble duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. There are a lot of fun island projects that we will... So this is kind of like the... You can build stuff as a mayor in New Leaf. You can build things such as bridges and ramps. There are optional extras for your Lionel experience, so these services... And with that information in mind, what do you think? How can I be of assistance to you? I need your help. Oh, time to help jump into action. By the way, one of my favorite pa questions is, what should I do? If you really want to dive in and get some work done, that's a good one. I enjoy giving my friends directions. Now, this is a construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? What should I do? Well, let's talk infrastructure, huh? Let's chat. There are a number of things we can discuss, but what do you have in mind? About bridges and inclines. A whole curious about bridges and inclines. Huh? Excellent, because with the renovations of resident services, we have something new for getaway package participants. This new service makes it easy and fun to add major projects such as bridges and inclines to the island. Major projects don't come cheaply, though. No, no. However, everyone who lives on the island can freely contribute toward the construction fees. We can discuss your island hopes and dreams, even if you don't quite have the funds together yet. Be advised, you can only have either a bridge or an incline under construction at any given time, so consider your plans carefully before discussing them with me. Hmm? Now, what would you like to discuss? Let's build a bridge. I want a bridge to go over to Solana's house. Bridges are a good way to connect lines separated by rivers. Go ahead and pick one from your catalog, please. So, I decided out of all of these cool looking bridges that I would pick a brick bridge. A brick bridge? And you're sure about this? You want to proceed with this bridge? Yes, please. Excellent. In that case, let's settle on the location next. Use the bridge marker kit I placed within your pocket to set aside some land for your bridge project. Use your kit near a river and you'll be able to imagine how a bridge will look. Cool. Let's talk to Isabel. Oh, Paul. Have you are... Here you are already. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details when specific concerns arise. No need to worry about anything. But since you're here, I may as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Indeed I do. Oh, this is so exciting, my first official request. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. That wasn't professional, was it? Now then... How can I help you today? Change the island tune. So I changed the island tune into something you might find familiar. Let's hear it. I said let's hear it, Isabel. So if you're not familiar, that was the main theme song to Animal Crossing New Leaf for 3DS. How inspiring! Your new island tune makes me so proud to call Zardazia my home. Now then, we'll start using it right away. I hope you enjoy hearing it when you're out and about. Can I help you with anything else? I'm good for now. I do make a flag later, but I used a custom design. 
Martown is called Zardazia because of the movie Zardoz. So I made the island flag the big face structure from that movie. I don't know if you'll ever see it, but I will point it out if I see it on the screen later on. So it said that since it was closed la last night, we got 500 Nook tokens, and then it didn't count it as not coming last time because it were closed. So we have some new stuff we can get. There's an ultimate pocket stuffing guide. And we can also buy vouchers to sell 3,000 bells, which I use later on off screen to, buy, to help me pay off the bridge I'm going to build. But for now, we bought the ultimate pocket stuffing, which gives us another row, a fourth row of pocket space. And I hope there's more of those in later because I love me some pocket space. Huh? Okay. I see. This totally makes sense. I've mastered the art of organizing. I bet I can carry a lot more stuff now. So as you can see, there's a fourth row. And then I got excited and told my wife about it. So I stay on the screen a little longer than I sh think I should have. And right outside was... Bonzo. Hi, how you doing? Let's chat. I love long walks. They keep your feet entertained. I still don't remember what voice I do for Alfonso. Alright, let's build our bridge. So I tried to build a bridge here, but the land was kind of uneven and it made it look really crooked. Like I didn't like, well it wouldn't let me place there because it, like it wasn't even. But then if I placed it up here, it looked off center. So I didn't want to do it there. So I went a little farther down on the river. Should I reserve the spot for the brick bridge? Let me imagine it, please. That looks perfect. Build it, darling. I pick a spot for a bridge. Let the island connect. My phone is ringing. Hello, Paul. Tumno here. Did you find a good spot for the brick bridge? I found a great spot. Wonderful. Now, as part of the kit you've set up, Lloyd will stay and collect donations for the construction fees. Island residents can contribute little by little. Once we reach our goal, construction will begin. Of course, you can feel free to make whatever hefty donation you want, Paul. And if you don't make any hefty donation, our goal may never become a reality. Anywho, all construction donations should go to Lloyd, and we'll talk again soon, hmm? So just like a new leaf, you have to make donations to Lloyd. Hello, good friend. Right now, I'm taking donations for a brick bridge. My goal is 198,000 bells. Currently, we have zero bells in donation, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need 198,000 bells. So if you can spare even a single bell, great. We appreciate your support. So I'm so glad that they did this. They actually have a button for as much as possible. So you don't have to, like, put a, an amount. Oh, yeah, if you're fine, man. Thanks for your support, chum. So the reason he said... If you don't donate, I don't think that we'll ever build the bridge. Is because I'm the only person living on this island that's an actual human. And the animal people will never help. See, I popped the balloon with my slingshot. And the present we got was a basket pack. And this was the present I think Alfonso gave us. We already knew that. Alfonso? Or was it... No, it was um, Patty that gave us it. Yo, you been trying to re-rack? I want to chat. I like to do a late cooldown before I start up my evening routines. Can't beat it. Re-rack. Hey, is it weight training time? Do you want this? Huh? What do you got, re-rack? I actually got a garden lantern from a nether balloon, so I gave him one because Patty already gave us a garden lantern. Wow, that's very muscular of you. I can't wait to show this off. I was also looking for an excuse to move my stuff around, so this really is perfect. Here's something for you, a raincoat. Take it, don't be shy. 
Okay, now it's Saturday. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Zardazia, it's 2.48 p.m. on Saturday, March 28, 2020. No big announcements today. Okay. Go on. Isabel, are you stuck? Instead, allow me to wish you all a fun Zardazia weekend. My phone is ringing. Hello, this is Tony from Nux Cranny. I think it's Paul, right? We sent a pair to your bank account for $14,689 for what you left in the Dropbox. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. Yeah, so I used the Dropbox, even though it paid less, because I had like a billion things that I got from the island that I went to that night. And I also built this fence around my flowers. Some of the stuff I brought back from the island was more flowers. Good afternoon, Paul. Thanks for the stopping by. How can I help you today? What's on sale? You got it. Here's what I'm selling today. So you'll notice that I... Oh, a face mask. That's really good for this time of isolation that we have in our houses. You got it. What am I selling today? Here's what I'm telling you. So you may notice I changed back to my Batman costume. I was invited over to my friend's house online. My actual friend in real life. So um, I wanted to show him my Batman suit. So I sh put it back on before I went to his um, island. And then I thought, what perfect way to, to go with our doctor's mask in this ratty looking... Um, Frugal outfit. Looks awful. Looks like I just woke up in the gutter. I don't know if I bought the water shoes. I don't think so. Nope. Hi, it's me, Alfonso. What's the latest? Anything neat? Another neat day on Zardazia. Sometimes they say dumb stuff. Look built, looking built, Rerack. What's up? I want to chat. This weather really got the muscle go glistening, Rerack. Hi there, how now? What's the latest? I was like way into this walk, but then it started to get boring. Then I found you and it's fab again. I don't like that they don't tell you to do stuff for them like on New Leaf. Alright, another message in a bottle. Let's see what it says. While reading my diary the other day, I came across this recipe. Ah, I never cease to amaze myself. Like all my best ideas, I stuck it in a bottle and let fate take over. It's time for a, to become a do-it-yourself legend, Raymond. We got a steel frame wall. Huh? Okay. Sweet, I learned a do-it-yourself recipe for a steel frame wall. And then we got a balloon. And that's a recipe for... A light bamboo rug. Which is good, because I went to an island one time... I got bamboo stuff, and I didn't have any recipes to use bamboo with, so it was pointless. So now I changed into my outfit, put on my burlap sack, frugal outfit, and put on my doctor's mask. I couldn't find the doctor's mask. I don't understand why it's glasses. Doesn't make any sense. And we went to visit Salvana. Sorry, I was really focused on this. What are you doing? I'm currently crafting a woolen wall just to see how I, how I do at it. Do yourself a great way of learning by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Paul, want to learn how to make your own wooden wall? Woodland wall? Sure. All right, I wrote down all the details right here. It should be easy for you. Give it a try when you have the time and materials up up. Okay. 
Sweet, I learned a Dewey Chef recipe for a woodland wall. Hello, good friend. Right now, I'm taking donations for a big break. Our goal is 180,000 bells. Currently, we have 197,000 seconds of thing. We need 238 bells. Oh, good. You actually paid it off. I'll donate all 238 bells. I have 238 bells as a major friend. Donate. Because of you, we'll reach our goal of 990,000 bells. Please step up to support. Next step, project completion. Alright, we reached our donation goal. Now it's Sunday, the last day. Good evening, everyone. Right now, it's 7, 7 16 p.m. on Sunday, March 29, 2020. I don't really have any big news to share today, but it's the start of a new week, and I hope it lives up to each and every one of your expectations. Well then, Isabel, sign you off. I got out of my house and I immediately saw a tarantula. So I'm like, whoa, I'm gonna go catch one, because they're worth 8,000 bells each. So that island that I made that I got a bunch of tarantulas was so profitable. So it's easy to catch them. You just walk up and when they raise up, you stop. And then when you get close enough, you swing them. All right, what did we get in the mail today? We got a B ranking. We got a B ranking last time, so who cares? Oh, I decorated the back room with bamboo stuff, but I never show it, so... <laughs> Maybe I'll show it some other time. I still haven't showed you guys the mirror. Oh, hey, Paul. You came to it just at the right time. There's something I'd like to ask for you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Sure, what's up? Oh, thank you. See, you see, I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on the island who can't wait for me to come here peddling. So, I've been taking, talking with my sisters about opening a proper store right here. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook and we had a great conversation. He was all like, we have some material left over from Billy Nook's cranny, hmm? All that must be done that is to select an appropriate location. A hole in the perfect individual find the location would be Paul, yes, hmm, yes. So I figured I'd just keep doing the travel peddler thing until I ran into you again and that's a now. Oh jeez, I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry, I'm pretty excited about all this. Anyway, my sisters and I would feel better opening this shop with the help of someone Tom Nook. So how about a Paul? Can you be our location stop? She keeps saying sss. She keeps saying sister. Seriously? Oh, you're a total spice saver. Alright then, let me give you this Taylor construction kit. Just set up in whatever spot makes sense to you. And that's where I'll we'll be. It's real dark out. Let's chat. Another neat day on Zardazia to me. You said that yesterday. You're boring. How are you doing now now? I want to chat. I'm practicing striking a pose. It's an important life skill. Never know when you might need to pose. So I thought she was going to teach me a reaction, but she did not. Yo, Paul. Give it all you got. You want reactions to cheer folks on? You got it. I love this one because encouraging your buddies is awesome. Watch. Flex those muscles. I learned the encouragement reaction. Hooray. So Mabel keeps saying sister, but she has two sisters in New Leaf. Taylor's construction kit. Should I reserve this space for the Taylor shop? Yes, you should. But let's imagine it first. Oh, it looks so cute. Abel's sisters. Abel and Mabel. I mean, Mabel and Sable, I believe, are their names. This is where the tailor shop will go. A wave of fashion will wash over us. And then my wife told me that she talked to Tom Nook. And he told him about building a camping site. So I said, well, let me go do that. Oh, Paul. Hello, hello. This is the construction call the consultation counter. How may I help you, hmm? What should I do? You need to say, what should I do? I didn't do that last time. That's why he didn't ever talk to me about this. 
Well, we've got a fine building for resident service now, and we no doubt admire the plaza. I is primed and ready for major events, if anything to say about it. To think that we just started the deserted island and have grown to the community. I want to be... Oh, yes. I have big plans. Tell me more. Oh, ho, ho, got your attention. Our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician K.K. Slider come and put on a show here on Sardazia. Paul, I'm sure you know who K.K. is, yes? I'm his biggest fan. I always knew you had excellent taste, Paul. By the way, his song K.K. Lemon is my go-to karaoke song. Oh, sorry about that. As you might have guessed, I'm a big fan. It's so easy to get sidetracked about talking about him. Back to our goal. If we could get a KK concert here, Zardazio could become a household name. We've done a lot so for the development of this island, but the KK show would be the culmination of our hard work. I'd love to cooperate, Paul. When you're ready for more details, come ask me what should I do again. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you, hmm? What should I do? Ah, oh, I take it you mean you're ready to hear details about the plan to draw KK here to hold a concert. I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents and we'll create a Zardazio so loved. Word of how great this island is could reach KK and he'll accept our offer to host a concert here. So, for the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. A campsite will make it easier to experience life here and it'll make a great PR material too. My daughter joined. With that in mind, I could... Could you get out your phone, Paul? And done. I've sent you the recipe for a campsite construction kit. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for our new campsite. I'm counting on you. So we need wood, softwood, hardwood, and iron nuggets, which I all have in my house. So I'm going to go make that right now. We got hardwood and softwood. We got all the wood and bamboo and acorns. Oh, and my friend gave us cherries because my friend has cherry trees in his house. And that was the last of the fruit we needed. Yes, you should craft something. I also change I also customize the workbench so it's a different color. I made a campsite construction kit. And I put all my stuff back in the storage. I don't know why I'm showing this. outside I saw another tarantula and then the cow started walking by and I got nervous she was gonna push me and make the tarantula attack me but she didn't she got really scared of the spider though but I caught it and she's like whoo so now I have 16,000 bells in my pocket all right this is where I decided to build a campsite right next to Silvana's house the campsite was also a new leaf um, people come to visit and you can actually convince them to move into town sometimes so the game is starting to become more like new leaf i love that fuchsia is pink but she loves rock music yo precious thanks for stopping by Let's talk. You got a wicked awesome frugal outfit there. Loving that style. You think something like that slip-on loafers would work with that color? Boom. So she gave us slip-on loafers, which I used because I thought 
I actually made um, recycled boots from finding two boots in the lake. But these ones look better because they're just slip-on loafers, which looks really good with our poor person clothes. <laughs> Ah, pong, la, la, la. Have you found a good location for our campsite? Of course. Splendid. I can't wait to see the spot you picked out. Now that the location is settled, I can c proceed with construction. Tomorrow we'll have a wonderful campsite for visitors. How exciting. When we go outside, I'll show the flag. You can see the flag in the corner. It's the little statue of head of that was in the movie Zardoz. Hey, you found a spot for the shop. Thanks so much, Paul. Once we're all set up and everything, I hope you'll swing by and support my sister and me. So I guess only Mabel and um, Sable are going to be there. Sable was the only way in New Leaf to do QR codes. And you had to talk to her like every day because she's very shy. And then she got to know you and be friends with you. Evening. Whew, I've been going strong all day. It might be time for a break, Rerack. I want to chat. How was your Happy Home Academy score? Mine, um, well, there wasn't any touchdowns, that's for sure. Plus, they never even asked how many crunches I could do. I got a B. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. What are you up to? I'm currently crafting a knitted grass backpack just to see how, how I do at it. Do yourself is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Paul, want to learn how to make your own knitted grass backpack? Sure. All right. I wrote down all the details right here. It should be easy for you. Give it a try when you have the time and materials. How about... All right, let's do it. We got Nook Miles for this. in one door and out another for warping all right so that's all we're gonna do today um next week we'll do the next week monday through sunday bye